Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you the best deals for Walgreens starting next week, the 15th through the 21st of May. Now if you hear a little bit of a constant buzz in the background, it is my ceiling fan. But other than that, everything is great. There is a Google Doc linked down below in the description box for you to use to help you plan your trips or just to help you out when you're in store picking up some deals. There's not a lot of deals next week. There's some good deals, but there's not a lot of them. So I do think it will be a bit of a slower week. Also, if you want to order coupons for next week, you can. There is a link down below in the description box as well. Next week or on Sunday the 15th, we are getting a smart source and a safe insert. These inserts do come from BQ Savings. I ordered my coupons. I ordered a little bit of a larger order this time because there's some really good coupons and they're like Persil and more chic coupons and I'm definitely going to be using those coupons. So I'm ordering a 10 pack but typically I only order a 4 pack. Also by ordering through somewhere like BQ Savings you can preview the inserts that you are getting and she does ship with FedEx with fast two day shipping. I ordered my coupons on Thursday and they will be here tomorrow. So let's look at the deals. So the first deal we're going to talk about is the degree deodorant. These are part of a promotion where you spend 20 you get back $5 in Walgreens cash. It also includes Dove deodorant and Axe. But with all of those coupons expiring on the 14th, I don't know what type of digital coupons we could possibly get. So I'm going to go with this deal for now, but definitely keep an eye out for Dove digital coupons because we have high value I bought a rebates for the Dove deodorant. So these are spend 20, get back $5 on Walgreens cash. You're going to buy two of the Degree Men's Dry Spray deodorant at $7.49 a piece. So one would be $7.49 and one would be $3.74. And then you're going to pick up two of the women's dry sprays as well. That's going to total you to $22.47. I'm going to use two $1.50 off of one printable coupons from the coupons.com website for the men's and then two for the women's. That's going to bring our total down to $16.47. We'll get back $5 in Walgreens cash. Then you're going to submit your receipt to Ibotta for each one of those deodorants. So you will be getting back $5 from Ibotta. And that will bring your total down to $6.47 for four deodorants or $1.61 a piece. And if you have a spend 20, you get back $5 in Walgreens cash. You can stack that with this deal. And that would make each deodorant about $0.37. Cents. So I think that is an amazing deal. So like I said, keep an eye out for the Dove any Dove digital coupons that we may be getting uh, because those would be a much better deal. So next we have a deal that I haven't seen in such a long time at Walgreens and I'm talking years. Now if we've had it any other time I just never noticed but I noticed it this week and it's a really good deal and these are not the cheapest items. You can get some cheaper items if you would like with different coupons and it'd be a bigger money maker but I thought I'd put these up because I haven't gotten these items before. So they're buy two, get back a $5 register reward. One of the translucent powders will be $4.99. And if you get a Lash Blast Active Mascara, it will be $5.69. Now these are going to be just digital coupons. We have a $3 off CoverGirl facial products digital that we can use. And I actually have a $3 off CoverGirl mascara digital coupon. So you could do this and then get the eyeliner and it would be better a better deal. But you're going to pay 4.68, get back a $5 register reward, making these free and a 32 cent money maker. So I think that's a great deal. So next we do have one oral care deal. But first I want to mention that if you look at the ad, you will see $4 Crest, $3 Crest, 2.99 Colgate, and only the Colgate mentions getting a dollar off digital coupon. The Crest always lists it seems, always lists that there are digital coupons coming. And those are pretty universal with Crest, Oral-B, and the mouthwash. But they're showing nothing. So this is an estimated guess because typically when we get digitals, we get a three off two digital coupon. So all of the digitals for the Crest are expiring on Saturday. So hopefully we will get some more digital coupons. So 
this is going to be part of the promotion where you spend 10 get back a five dollar register reward and these mouthwashes the 3d white mouthwash the brilliance kind here are $6.99 actually the 3d white mouthwashes any of them are $6.99 so we're going to hope that there's a three off two digital coupon that'll bring our total down to $10.98 we will get back a five dollar register reward making the both of them $5.98 or $2.99 a piece. Now it's not free or a money maker, but this is a little bit fancier mouthwash and we don't ever get deals on this. So even if we don't get digitals for it, it would be $13.98 and we would get back that $5 register reward. You could put this in with the spend deal and get it for pretty cheap. So I definitely thought it was worth mentioning. So next I want to show you these coupons. If you haven't seen these yet, we got amazing high value digital coupons for Charmin and Bounty. We also got them for Puffs Plus, the Kleenexes. So if you didn't know yet, definitely check your account for these digitals and clip them. So I was shopping on Tuesday morning and when I got home Tuesday afternoon and was starting to edit and upload my video, I seen these and I thought, man, because I got really big packages of Charmin. But anyways, it's totally fine. We have these really great high value digital coupons. One's an eight off of two and one's an eight off of three. So I am going to put this in with a little bit of a scenario with the uh, Bounty paper towel. So this week right now, it says online that these four packs of the Bounty four roll paper towel are on sale for $8.99. So if they're not on sale and they're full price, I thought it would be safer to go with the full price for next week. So if you buy three of these, they're $10.49 a piece. This will bring your total up to $31.47. You're going to use that eight off three digital coupon. Now, if you just want to do it like that, you can pay with points and then be done with it. But if you have a spend booster, you can pair this with one of those spend boosters and still use $10 in Walgreens cash because after the digital coupon comes off, we're still at a pretty high amount. So between the amount that you spend and the amount of the coupon would have to equal out to $20. So after the $10 in Walgreens cash comes off, your total would be at $13.47. $13.47 plus eight is over $20. So that's why you can use the $10 in Walgreens cash. It doesn't change the actual cost of the items. It just makes your out-of-pocket cheaper. So you use that $10 in Walgreens cash, but the final cost for the three of them would be $18.47. But you should get back that $6 P&G coupon that's been printing out at the Catalina machine, which is $6 off of $30 of your next P&G purchase. I hope I didn't confuse you there, but if you haven't done this promotion yet already, you will be at $23, so you will be at $20 after coupons. You could submit your receipt to the pggoodeveryday.com website under the rebate section and get back a $5 gift card, so it'd make it even cheaper. So it'd make it about $13.47 for all three packages, which I think is an amazing deal if you haven't done that already. So I just wanted to throw that in there because this does include the bounty paper towel this time around. So next we have this deal back again where you buy four, you get back a $6 register reward for Tide products, Charmin products, Bounty, and Downy. So typically I don't get the register reward when I buy Bounty or Downy. It's been like that for quite a while. It didn't used to be. So we're just going to stick with the Tide and the Charmin, and they are two for $11, so four of them would be $22. So we're going to pick up one of the Tide Pods, one of the Tide Liquids, and two of the Charmin. We're going to use the dollar off coupons for the Tide Liquids and the Tide Pods from the May PNG, and we're going to use the dollar off coupons for the Charmin from the May PNG. But I might just use the digital because I've had issues with that coupon this month. But anyways, after our coupons, our total will be $18. We'll get back a $6 register reward, making all four products $12 or about $3 a piece. If you have a spend booster of spend 20, get back $5 in Walgreens cash. 
then that would make your total $7 for four of them or $1.75 a piece. And after what's been going on with inflation, I think that's a pretty good stock up price. So next, I just want to throw in a couple of deals that have high value coupons and that you can use those in with spend boosters to help lower your out of pocket. So the Gillette Labs with the travel case is typically $34.99, but I wanted to point out this deal specifically. Number one, it is on sale for $27.99, and I'm hoping it'll be that way next week as well. But there is a promotion for ship to home only. It says buy one on select Gillette, Gillette Labs or Venus Razors. You get $5 in Walgreens cash. You can't do this as a curbside pickup and you can't do this in store and get the Walgreens cash. So you can do this and have it shipped to home or you can do this with a booster in the store and it would still be pretty cheap. So I definitely wanted to point that out. I talked all about that type of thing in a special video last week about Walgreens cash and what's going on with it with a lot of pickup orders. And this was one of the deals that were given that were giving people trouble. So let's look at the breakdown for this. So the razor is going to be for $27.99. You're going to use a $15 off of one digital coupon. That would bring your total down to $12.99. Now, if you had it shipped to your house or to the store, you would get back $5 in Walgreens cash. Or if you used a spend 20, get back $5 in Walgreens cash in store you would get back $5 in Walgreens cash, and you could pay with Walgreens cash. But then you're going to submit your receipt to Ibotta and get back $5 on Ibotta. That's if you buy it in store, and that would make this $2.99. So I know that might sound confusing, but if you're going to get this in store and you have a spend 20, get back $5 in Walgreens cash booster, go in the store and pick this up and use that $15 off of one digital coupon. You would pay $12.99, you would get back $5 in Walgreens cash because of your booster, and then you could submit your receipt to Ibotta and get this for two, for $5 and get this for $2.99. Now if you did it ship to home, it would be a little bit different, but I wanted to point this out uh, because it can be confusing. So next we have another deal with the Good Kind and Pure Perfume. This has been going on for quite some time. This also has a very high value digital coupon and the perfume is on sale for $19.99 and there's a $10 digital coupon. So you would pay $9.99 and then you could submit your receipt to Ibotta and get back $4 making it $5.99. Or you could work it in with a spend booster deal and use that $10 in coupons. I'm stuttering and stumbling a lot today. You could use that $10 in coupons to help pay for the rest of your items because the system looks at that as cash. So let's look at a couple of scenarios. So here we have a spend 20 get back five dollars in Walgreens cash and it's all digital but we are also going to be able to build that transaction up, use our coupons as cash, and pay a low out of pocket for this deal. So it's going to combine the bounty paper towel that's not on a promotion, but we have that high value coupon. Then we're going to grab the CoverGirl, the translucent powder and the Lash Blast Active Mascara. We'll use that eight off three digital coupon and the two $3 off digital coupons for the facial products and the mascara. That's going to bring your total down to $28.15. You can use $20 in Walgreens cash to help lower your out of pocket. And that's because the value of your coupons equals out to $14 plus the leftover amount that you would pay in your own cash out of your pocket after you pay with Walgreens cash equals out to $8.15. $8.15 plus $14 is over the $20 mark so you can pay in Walgreens cash. So after you pay with the Walgreens cash, you would get back $5 in Walgreens cash for your booster, a $5 register reward for the CoverGirl, and a $6 coupon uh, for the P&G products when you spend $30. So that would make your final cost for everything $18.15. But you only paid 
$8.15 out of your own pocket because you built up your transaction, your coupons counted as cash in the system. So in Walgreens system's mind, you spent over $20. So you would get your spend booster. So I hope that helps clear that up where you build up a transaction. I try to show you one transaction that you can do that with every week because it really does help us save a lot of money. Because the money that we pay out of our own pocket can get expensive at Walgreens. So doing it this way really helps that as well. So next I'm going to show you how to do a spend booster with just using a paper booster that you would get with a transaction that you paid for or if you happen to find one you can use those as well. So we're just going to use the booster and not build up the transaction. So you'd buy one of the Tide Pods and one of the Tide Liquids and two of the Charmin for $22. You'd also buy one of the Gillette Labs with the travel case for $27.99. Then you're going to use your dollar off coupons from the May PNG plus your $15 digital coupon for the Gillette Labs. Then you would pay $30.99. You would get back $9 in Walgreens cash from your booster, a $6 register reward for your tied items. You would also submit your receipt to Ibotta and get back $5 for the razor making your final total for everything $10.99, but you did have to pay $30.99 out of your own pocket. Now, like with the previous transaction, you only had to pay $8. So that's why I like to show the contrast between the two. And that is everything, guys. I hope this video was helpful, and thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a good weekend.